guys, welcome back to another video. In today's video, it's the part two of the Santa Santa House Building Twilight Forest. So I also added I changed the windows. Um changed the windows twice. So in the beginning, the windows are made out of green and red stained glass, but I changed it into force field because I'm like, it's Santa's workshop. You don't want someone breaking in. If I was in survival, I could never break this. It's like bedrock, but more powerful, I guess. I don't, I'm not entirely sure. It's, we'll just say it's like bedrock, but glass formed. So as you can see, I added in a room. There's walls on the inside. There's that, I'm not gonna spoil it yet. There's actually a kitchen type thing, there's a painting. There's nothing here. And this is like, this, this, I'm, I'm going off the point of view that I've never been in here before. And this kind of looks like the main office. If you run around, you can see there's a chair. But I'm going to go upstairs to the tippy top. Try not to look inside because a lot has been done. So off the bat, um, that's triggering. But I put in Christmas lights all along this whole entire thing. I just thought it needed more light in putting in Christmas lights, or they're actually called fairy lights apparently, is the most efficient way to do it. I also added ladders. I personally despise ladders a lot of the time in Minecraft. This is the second floor. Now as you'll notice from the first video, many things. First off, there wasn't a floor here. It was dirt. Secondly, there wasn't any walls. There wasn't a door leading outside. There weren't fairy lights, Christmas wreaths, that thing, and the kitchen. Uh, there was no floor built in as well. I built in the floor since the last video. I added this kind of lounge area of bookcases. I thought it was like kind of aesthetic, I guess. Put a little Christmas tree. I just I wanted it here, but I wasn't sure where I wanted to put it. So I just threw it in the in the middle of the room and decided that works. Now also these signs they have like first in command, second in command, and that one is fourth in command. It's not because. It's it's not because um, it's the naughty list person. It's just because I was going in order from the biggest room to the smallest. Even though this one's like the biggest room. I was just going in this order and that's just what so happened to happen. Anyway, let's start. This is the head elf's office. Nice list. Has a pretty big desk. Has some books in the corner. Has no like actual light in here. Has an oak chair and has like a nice view of the cafe and my house. I like that. Next we have the second in command nice list. I put pressure plates just because I didn't want to have to keep opening and closing the doors. Uh, walking in we have the little computer desk which I'm personally a huge fan of and then I put the printer in for like if they were typing something on the computer or they were tired of going over the naughty and nice list and like writing it they could just type and print this is like the desk where they would work on that there's nothing in this desk currently but uh there will be third no well, i said third next are the third in command nice list let's see it's pretty much the same as the other one not nothing special but then i changed the whole entire vibe of the room if you don't look at the naughty list you just get this nice warm kind of open vibe but then you look at this and it's, and it's just dark i put netherrack um netherrack in because i thought it was kind of like dark because the nether is kind of dark and fiery and so forth i added darker colors because the nice list was all white i even changed what the door looked like just to make it look a little less nice i guess and my favorite part about this room is that it is technically bigger than all the rest of the rooms. It has like three times the amount of space. It has the computer here next to it in the corner. And there is stuff in the desk. I don't, you can't reach that desk. You can't reach that cabinet. But there's actually stuff in this desk. Put the purple lights. I just thought that might be nice. It would go with the whole dark room kind of aesthetic. I put an anvil here entirely sure what and then I put presents in the corner oh shoot I broke the I broke the floor I'll get the rest of that coal in a sec <laughs> but um let me just grab some canopy oh wait no it's not canopy I changed the wood flooring 
because I was like, I want to have it a different color than the floor of the house. Not the floor of the house, the floor of like the building. So I changed the color up entirely. I don't know if it's the dark, the dark wood planks or it's the time wood planks. But I also feel like it started with an S. So if I can't find that sort of an S, I'm instantly wrong. <laughs> Nope, I found it. I found one. I think this is it. Nope. That's one for the walls. It was the time wood planks. Okay. Time wood planks for the flooring. And there's just coal. I'm gonna put this coal on the desk. Okay. And I need to find a way to eventually come back and put that back. Next room. Our next floor. We have the downstairs basement slash first floor. I did do work on the basement as well. I'm pretty happy about that. I'm going to close all the doors. So, I'm going to start in the kitchen. I wanted to make it more Christmas kind of colored. And I was like, if I hues just only green, it won't have like as nice of... It won't have as much Christmas. Because everything's white. So, we already have the white. And then we have green. But we don't have any red. So, I made some of the parts of the kitchen appliances, well, not, well the sinks not an appliance, but counter space and stuff, red, just to make it a little bit more different. I put a cookie jar, put just pretty much every typical appliance, minus an oven, which I probably will need. Uh, I'm debating on which one I want to go next, because this one leads to the basement, and this one leads, I'm going to go in here first. This room is Santa's office. It has a bigger desk than the head elf. I specifically made it that way. I was like, I don't want the head elf to somehow have a bigger desk than Santa. Because then the, then the head elf is pretty much just Santa. I put the Grand Master's Chair. That's what it's actually called in uh, your inventory. It's the Grand Grand Chair. I would say Grand Master's Chair. But it's also now Santa's Chair. I decided instead of using a wood desk, that Santa was kind of nicer than that. So I decided to put some stone. I was going to use a material, another material of stone that has dots in it. But I just decided, nah. Something that's more neutral, but also like a darker kind of a gray color. Just looks aesthetically better. I'm going to come back later. And this room. This is one of my favorite rooms. I don't entirely like how many um, trap doors I had to add to cover up this hole. And there's mobs. I specifically thought I got rid of all of them, but guess not. Let me just quickly grab the sword of the day. I added in a lot of lights. I didn't really want to, but there were just too many mobs and I just wasn't a fan. I also added, you know, I'll just go down and you'll see. I added, that was a fail, <laughs> I added in this little stairwell kind of area so that if the elves jumped down from up there, they could, instead of having to go down, take the stairs, they could just instantly go to their destination. Now it is truly possible to do it. I tested in survival from right there. So let me just, boom, boom, did it. So it's like a little way for them to get in here without having to go to the currently not real staircase and as you can tell i put in some stone got rid of all the dirt added in smooth stone kind of floor not any of this though but all of this that's just solid smooth stone this cobblestone and that was my way of making smooth stone it's just incomplete also i think that the slime is the most safe way for the elves to jump down without dying we have a slime which I'm not happy with. But other than that, I really didn't add much to the basement. Minus the ridiculous amount of torches. Well, and I hid a room entirely. There, I put this here as a reminder for myself. But behind this wall, there is a cave that leads further into uh, underground, kind of into the mountain. But I closed it up for a reason. Um, there's a certain mob that kept spawning in here. It's the little goblins. I'm not sure what they're actually called. But 
at first it was just like, oh, this is a minor problem. You know, there's only one or two every time I open, I had this open. But then it became like, I would leave for like 20 minutes or something. And I'd come back and the whole entire room would be full of them. And I'm just like, this is too much. There's too many. They're coming through the cave because the cave is kind of like a highland spawn and they're like part of the highland. So I decided, you know what? I'm not doing it. Changing it. I um, I just decided it was going to be easier. I'm going to break down the door. Whoops. That was probably bad. I think I'm going to also add a mail room in at some point because there is a lot of space on the bottom floor. Oh, that leads downstairs. That's not safe. Let me just... There we go. And bam. There we go. So, as you can see, there is just this awkward transition in between Santa's workshop and this kind of in the kitchen, which is kind of a kitchen. It's a half kitchen. I did this on purpose. I was like, for people who um, don't watch my channel but are my friends, which is kind of sad, I decided this would be a great prank because behind the paintings in both rooms, in Santa's office and in the kitchen, there's a little lounge kind of area. I'm going to put torches in here before monsters even get the chance to spawn in. There's also a hole in the ceiling that I'm not going to fix. But this is kind of like where either Santa chills, if like Santa's doing his thing, or he's like out on Christmas, and then the elves kind of just chill in here after that, or they chill into the basement, because the basement I feel like has more space, but that's just about it. I'm thinking that in the basement, I might build this on camera, I'm going to add a certain room, so instead of adding like a music room or something, we're going to have a whole present section. Pretty much the whole entire thing is going to be for presents. But I'm deciding now that I want to add a specific room that's entirely for mail. I think that'd be accurate considering that Santa's Workshop in a lot of the movies, they have just scenes where they have these whole entire, like, bookcases pretty much. But they're not bookcases of just space with the mail and all that so i decided this would be a great idea i haven't decided just walking around here which corner i want to put it in but it has to be opposite of oh that was a mistake opposite of the slime bo blocks because the slime blocks are slightly to the side and if we put this for example like over here it's going to be smaller than the rest of the rooms because the slime blocks are slightly tilted in that direction. So I'm thinking I want to put it in this corner. Then there's the cave there. So it's going to have to go in probably this corner. So I'm going to start building that. I think I don't want to use quartz. I've used quartz. I've used stone. I've used wood. I even used concrete. But I did not use terracotta. I'm not a huge fan of terracotta. They're kind of more weird colors. Like, this white looks like flesh. It's like a very light flesh color. And the white from the concrete isn't really white either. If I'm being honest, it's kind of like a darkish gray. It looks more white than the terracotta, though. But, like, this is pure white wool. And you can see the difference just in between... Let's put it over here but you can see the difference in between this white and this off grayish white i don't know if i want to have the room white i think i'm going to make it blue which is not really a christmas color or anything like that but i just think it's kind of a neutral color that would fit and considering that santa's workshop um no santa's office has blue uh force filled windows i think it'd be the best idea for me just to put a little blue for like the mail and stuff also my outfit is blue so it really gives me a chance to put some blue into this building that's more than just a few windows i'm gonna go from here out to like there so it's not too far into the main room but it's also not too to itself i could put a corner block here of choice and then bam there we go 
the room will probably have to go up to the ceiling because I don't feel like having a second off room. I guess it's hard to explain, but at the same time, it's just a little off room that just kind of stops halfway up. Like the cafe is a perfect example of that. The cafe has a off room. I'm going to just show it just because it's easier. Okay. And, ooh, no, 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 that's not that one. There we go. So, in the cafe, there's this, the bathroom and kitchen. So, I put, originally, this was entirely floating. And it, I was like, eh, it's okay, but I kind of don't like the space in between. It just looks very weird and kind of like a creature with its mouth open. Which actually makes a lot more sense now that I look at it that way. Now that I've kind of brought that into it. So I'm thinking that I'm going to have to make it entirely up to the ceiling. Because I don't want another awkward situation where the flooring isn't all the way connected. And it's just kind of this awkward gap. Anyway. I need to think of a color to hues in between that's kind of the opposite of blue. I'm going to try yellow and see. Mmm. Not a huge fan. <coughs> I'm thinking that I might want to use... I don't use wool, because... No. Um, I might want to use leaves, because leaves are kind of neutral. But also, rainbow oak leaves are every color... Yeah, I'm just going to make the whole entire room out of rainbow oak. I thought it would be a great idea to have, like, blue involved. But the rainbow oak leaves have every color. So either way, I'm technically winning. The color palette's technically winning. See, we already have blue, some darker blues, some darker greenish blues. And it just seems, like, very colorful. Also, I just really wanted a chance to use the rainbow oak leaves kind of obsessed with them they're just super pretty and they have more shades than blocks or anything in minecraft the, if i'm being perfectly honest like in minecraft they don't have these light kind of pastel colors or like red or anything so i think that having well they do have red but just not these goldenish reds in block colors so i think using the rainbow oak gives a chance to expand more colors into Minecraft without having to invent new blocks yourself. Which you can totally do if you're that person who like likes to invent new blocks and stuff and makes Minecraft mods. You can go for it, but I'm kind of in a time crunch right now of trying to build this whole entire thing before Christmas, which is very close. By the way, how is your guys' Christmas Christmas vacation, or if you're not in Christmas vacation yet, do you have any plans for Christmas? I just hope you guys have a really nice time. That was very off topic, but back on topic, I think that the more you're stuck with one color, you gotta do this. It's, a, it's not as limited of a palette of color, which I'm just getting all kinds of technical with the colors. Um, I just prefer more than one color. It's just me. It's a weird thing. But now that the room is has like a really nice square, I think I'm gonna go outside and place a mailbox. Okay, wait. I'm gonna place this one down here or at different corners. Actually, as the town expands, I'm gonna place that one at different corners. I can place one of these at the farm. I just have all kinds of ideas. I'm gonna place a birch. Uh, birch mailbox outside. Birch is the only color that you cannot find in the Twilight Forest. I'm pretty certain. I haven't found it, and I've gone halfway around the world or so in here. Oh, wait, no, you can find birch. It's just super hard. I'm lying. I didn't, I didn't, I forgot about the birch. But finding whole birch forests are very hard to find. Also, this tree, which is birch in front of the house. It's gotta go. It's gotta go. Goodbye. I didn't want it. Okay. 
I think I'm going to put it right there. So it's like uh, either the postman or something comes in and takes the mail. Or, or we have people who are like trying to give those letters to Santa. We put them in here. I think that's going to be the best way to go about it. But since the town is so expanded, and, like, living in the city, you see mailboxes everywhere on, like, every block or so. Every two blocks. So I'm going to put one of these by where you would come into the Twilight Forest, right here. Actually, I have a better spot to put this one. This will be, like, the town mailbox, I guess. And it's going to go right there. Also, I love these pastel colors. They're aesthetically pleasing. And the pastel colors on the outside as well. There are, like, no dark colors. I mean, I think this is the darkest color. I also planted a lot of rainbow trees around because I'm like, I love the oak leaves. I can plant them, I can take their wood, and then I can plant more of them. Just pretty aesthetically pleasing. I keep saying aesthetically pleasing. I also think I would like to add one of these big mailboxes probably in the Naga area, maybe in the literal Naga area. But for now, I'm going to put it right in between. Which I'll put it on the back. There we go. There we go. That looks great. So we have now mail. We have a furnace. We have a little farm all the way out here. So at this point, everything is kind of coming together, I have to say. I think I might build a literal town in the Naga Maze. It's pretty huge. And putting like a mini town or something in here, but also making it look very old fashioned would be something very fun to do. And there's also these little huts that are out here. So you guys just comment down below what your kind of idea is for the little huts. But I kind of have an idea that's kind of already set in stone in my head for the Naga. I just saw something. What is this? Ooh, this could be like a mail postal office. Pretty cool, pretty cool. The saddest thing of the Twilight Forest, at least for me right now, is that I can't go up into this little area up here in survival without almost dying. What is this block? I'm going in survival, I'm mining it, going back in creative and leaving. This is kind of a very sidetracked thing, but I'm pretty curious about it. I just see it and I'm like, what is it? What is it for real? So this would be a good way to solve my curiosity and make it so we don't have to come ever, ever, ever have to come back here. So we need survival. There we go. Let's see. It broke the block. It didn't give you anything. It's giving you dirt? That's weird. I feel like it's not dirt, though. Oh! Oh, shoot. Oh, shoot. Okay. Leave me alone. That's where those little gnome demon thingies are coming from. I'm kind of curious to know why it looks like this, though. But there's also some more over here... So I want to check these out as well. Are these also dirt? Oh, they are just dirt. Oh, okay. Pretty interesting. But uh, it'd be really cool if we could add something all the way up here. I'm thinking of some crazy builds after Christmas. After this Christmas build is built, we'll have some pretty cool plans in mind. And I know you're saying, why don't you just come up here in survival and do what you're doing now? Well, it shakes the screen the whole entire time. And I don't want to have to listen to the Minecraft sis kind of sound. It goes like sss every time you get hit with the acid rain. It's very painful. Where? There we go. So, all in all, I think that the rainbow oak leaves is going to be something we're going to use mainly in the male area. Something else we might add would be, like, probably the, the the leaves of transformation or something like that, or transition. I, d I don't remember. These leaves right here, 
because they kind of drop these letters and I feel like letters in the mail room like falling down from the sky would be very pretty but that was just the tour and a little bit more building was done like in the last episode thank you guys so much for joining me for this episode of minecraft i'm gonna go back down <laughs> minecraft twilight forest santa's hut part two it was pretty fun for me to make i honestly enjoyed it a lot i hope you guys do too and thank you guys so much for so much for joining me for this video Bye bye